Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. What you see behind me is unbelievable. I can't believe it myself. My buddy texted me last night and said, I'm gonna set my trap. I think I'm gonna get eight to 10 pigs. Been coming in. He didn't get eight to 10 pigs. He got 15 pigs. I've got 14 hanging here. One of them I gave to a friend of mine at church. I was actually at church when I was given these. Believe it or not, it pays to go to church, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. If you don't have people at your church that do this kind of stuff, maybe you need to get a different church. <laughs> but anyway, we're not going to let these things go to waste. You wouldn't believe how many people would just throw these in a ditch or just get rid of them because they believe this f fable that they're nasty. Well, they don't smell that good, but tame hogs don't smell that good either. They can carry trichinella, so yes, you gotta cook it to a certain temperature, but nobody eats any kind of pork that's cooked under 135 to 140 anyway. You don't eat bloody pork. It's just not what you do. And if you get this stuff to 145, it's an instant death to trichinella. It can't survive, so it's not a danger. We got home, and what we did was we washed them down, we gutted them, and it took us about an hour, 20 minutes or so to gut all 14 of them, wash them down, and get them hanging up here. And it's gonna be 28 degrees tonight. In the morning, we're gonna get up, we're gonna start skinning, quartering them up, getting them on ice. What do you think about all them pigs, son? I don't know. You ever see such a pile hanging? <laughs> that, is, that is amazing. There. That's unreal, son. And that's probably from two litters. Them are just pigs. They're not big, you know. Yeah, but he got them, he got them from my old yeah, huh? That's probably from two litters. Hmm. Yes, sir. Wow. Unbelievable. Get your knife, son. Get to work. <laughs> I don't know how. You got a knife, son. <laughs> Longbow give it to you. Says yeah, old far, the, don't it? it the house, Says old far, don't it? <laughs> it's at the house, son. It's not here. I'll go get it for you. Yeah. I ain't gonna work on no pig. Oh, what's wrong with you? Ah, I ain't gonna work no pig. Why? <laughs> yeah, you got all Yeah, they're all dressed out and fit to kill, son. <sighs> they're ready to roll. What are you gonna do, barbecue them up there? Why we'll probably put them on ice for a while. We're getting ready to skin these things out. We had to go get a couple more ice chests, believe it or not, and some ice. So I'm just gonna time lapse this and we're gonna knock the hide right off these boogers. got them cut up and we got them put on ice. That's only a temporary measure. Obviously, the ice is gonna sort of melt, run through there, draw out some blood, and basically cool the meat off even more. It got very cold last night. It was about 28 degrees or a little cooler. So the meat stayed cold and we cut it up. We got it all processed. And as you've seen, we used the stripping method. We stripped that meat off. It was a uh, You've seen it in a time lapse, and I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how accurate you could see. Be looking for the stripping video, how to strip these hogs with basically a shingle cutting knife, a hook build shingle cutting knife. It worked awesome. So Here, tomorrow we'll be making sausage. You don't want to miss it. But we hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.